Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. I am so excited for today because I'm getting back into my shower closet video. I am doing fall Pinterest outfits and I'm recreating them with things that I have in my wardrobe. I am ready for more shower closet. Like they're just so much fun and it's just playing around with what you already have in your wardrobe. So I really enjoy it. And these outfits that I have to share with you are absolutely beautiful. Like they're very soft and feminine, not super preppy. They're more so like romantic and relaxed style outfits. Like the light academia. Some of them you could go more preppy if you wanted to. I think you all are gonna really enjoy these outfits and you'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. But before I get into the outfits, I do want to quickly introduce myself to those of you who are new to my channel or who have not subscribed yet. If you enjoy my videos and you've been coming back and watching my content, definitely consider subscribing. It just really helps me out as a creator. It's free. You don't have to do anything. Just hit that subscription button and it just gives me more opportunities to work with more fashion brands and bring you more free content. Content, so definitely consider doing that. I get a new video up for you every single week and lately I've been also uploading YouTube shorts throughout the week as well where I'll share like my outfit of the day or just some cute outfit inspiration. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these outfits and hopefully we can come up with some really pretty fall outfits together. So this is the first outfit that I found on Pinterest that I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I am definitely recreating this outfit. So I'm just gonna start by breaking down the outfit and sharing the pieces that I have in my wardrobe and then I'll show you the whole outfit. I'm going to start with that staple piece, the leather skirt first, because that was just kind of what brought me into the outfit in the first place. Look at those pleat details. I love that. The skirt that I have in my wardrobe that really reflects this look in the mini form is this leather skirt from Chicwish and I love this skirt. This is a recent discovery for me. Leather mini skirts are a little bit tricky for me just because I am tall so I have to be a little bit more picky with them but with this skirt the length is perfect and I love the color too like it's a really pretty soft like orangey brown very autumnal definitely get that color palette that I'm going for with this outfit this one just has a zipper in the back it has a really nice lining on the inside and I love how it looks like it hits me at the perfect spot like right above my knee so I'm comfortable wearing it around and it looks really pretty with the types of tops that I like to wear with it which I will share in just a second the only thing I would say with this skirt which is very typical with like leather styles it does have a little bit of a scent it's not awful and it's not something I noticed right away but as I was wearing it I would get a little whiff of the scent so once you wash it and wear it it does go away but I did want to mention that but with how perfect it fits I can completely overlook that because it is just very difficult for me to find a skirt like this that actually looks right lengthwise. The next piece, which is that really pretty balloon sleeve white blouse. I love how she really did such a good job with the silhouette of this outfit. Like it's just beautiful and very flattering for her figure. So the blouse that I went with, since my skirt is a little bit more of a fitted style, I decided to go with more of like an extravagant top and her top is definitely extravagant. I wanted to stick to the white, but I wanted more of the ruffles. Since my skirt is much more fitted, I felt like going for a little bit more drama on the top would be a little bit more in my style. So I included this top with the ruffles and I like how she tucked her blouse all the way in. So I went ahead and did that with mine. I think it brings balance to the outfit, especially with my skirt being so fitted and then this being a little bit more on the dramatic side. I think it really balances everything out. I already love the outfit already. I think I'm getting a very similar look to this photo while still staying true to my own style. And that's definitely what I want to do. I don't wanna just copy her look exactly. I definitely wanna stick to my personal style and just kind of create something that's inspired off of her look. I'm gonna move on to the shoes next because her shoes, I definitely would say are not wearable at the moment. I definitely would not go for sandals right now. I went for lace up boots, which definitely brings in the more vintage look that I'm going for with the outfit that I wanted to create off of this look. And then the next piece in this outfit that I noticed that I think really complements it very well is that soft beige handbag. So I do have this Kate Spade handbag that I thought would be a cute piece to include into the outfit. I feel like this handbag would fit this look very well and it definitely keeps to a similar color scheme that she has with her outfit. I love how this one turned out. I think this is one of my favorite outfits, honestly. I would love it if you would let me know if you plan to recreate this outfit because I feel like this outfit was just so well done. It's very simple and I feel like it's one that a lot of us can recreate from our wardrobes.
This is the second outfit that I want to recreate. This is very London, Paris feel. Maybe a little bit New York as well. Very city girl, but there are some ways I plan to kind of romanticize the outfit a little bit. So to start this look off, you'll notice that she does have those, it looks like black leather trousers, which I think is a really cool girl type of look. So I started my look off with these. These are pair of old trousers that I thrifted off of ThreadUp and that I'm absolutely obsessed with. They have like a beige, like gray undertone and I love it. They're really nice and high-waisted. They have the pleats in the front and they're just very chic. Bring in a touch of vintage to the outfit and I just, I love these so much. This is what I decided to start my look off with and they're so comfortable. The length is perfect and they sit really nice and high in my waist for the top that I'm gonna style with them. With that said, let's go and get into the top that she has. A white ruffled, like just simple cotton blouse. It does have that like Peter Pan collar. I used to be obsessed with those. <laughs> so the top that I have to kind of reflect that um, like Peter Pan collar type of thing with the, the little ruffles is this blouse. This is a blouse from Simple Retro. It has that lace detail on there, the really pretty like hook over button style or like you know what I mean. <laughs> And I just took this top and tucked it into the wool pants to get that nice high waist that I like. And I actually do, it does look like she did go ahead and tuck her blouse in as well. Very similar look there. I just switched out the leather for wool. Funny enough, I actually do have a camel teddy coat very similar to the one that she is wearing. But I recently discovered this beautiful white teddy coat from Abercrombie, actually. I've never really been interested in Abercrombie before, but I was just searching for a white teddy coat and the two that I was the most interested in were from Banana Republic and Abercrombie. I love this coat. It is so comfy. It's extremely good quality and the price was amazing. Um, they also are doing like sales right now too. So I would definitely like go check this coat out because they do have the tall option. They have the, the regular option and it just, it is more like an oversized coat. I got this in a size medium. It's a medium tall and I love the fit. And this like teddy coat style of jacket is so wearable in my area. Like it just is something Something so easy to throw on top of dresses and an outfit like this and I felt like this very much reflected this look it's just in more of like my color palette with the soft cream and ivory so I love how this turned out I think the length is even spot on too I'm so happy with this outfit <laughs> But I just realized I completely skipped over the shoes. I think I was just so excited to share with you this coat. Notice that she has like a really fancy like stiletto heel and it looks like she even has like studs along the side. That's really cool. I'm very sleek. But the shoes that I have are actually kind of sleek too. These are my black very... <laughs> almost like theatrical shoes. They're very, very um, out there. I wasn't sure how I felt, how I looked with the trousers, but I don't feel like these are the statement of the look. I think the coat kind of makes everything work. This is how I finished off the look. came across this outfit and I loved the florals in this, how she included a floral dress in those darker moody fall colors. So I'm gonna recreate this look and I'm gonna start with that dress because I think that's definitely like the base of the look right there. So I'm currently renting this dress from Newly and I rented it for the purpose of a wedding that I attended. I wore this to the rehearsal dinner. This dress is in that black and like soft beige. It actually comes across as more like a gold soft yellow. I don't want to say yellow because it's not yellow. It's just like a really soft beige. I love how simple it is in the front, but you have this statement back, which if you have been watching my videos, something that I love about special occasion dresses and that I look for are more statement backs. Like I love a backless dress. I think it's just so romantic. It's dramatic, but it's very wearable at the same time. The back does have like this elastic detail so I have this in a size medium I almost would have gone down to a small I feel like it fits really nicely I'm actually considering purchasing this dress because I loved it so much the back does come a little bit low and it has this like elastic so you don't want to wear like high-waisted underwear or anything with this but overall I would say definitely size down on this dress just with the smock material in the front and how low it goes in the back you definitely want it to like hit you at the right spot but anyways this is 
is the dress that I decided to start my look off with. And I think that it is a very similar color scheme to what she is wearing. The next piece in her outfit that I wanted to touch on is that it actually looks like a fleece sweater, like zip up sweater that she just threw on top of her shoulders. And it's in that soft beige ivory color. So I decided to go for my American Eagle waffle knit cardigan. I just threw this on top of the dress. And I was kind of sad because it kind of did hide the back of the dress. But you could always style it kind of like off your shoulder if I wanted to get more of that like back detail in the dress. It also depends on if I'm inside or outside. It has like the cream and beige kind of mixed in together with this piece. So I feel like it really went very well with um, contrasting like that dark and light like she did with her outfit. I really like how simple this outfit is because it's very easy to recreate your own look but still draw inspiration from how she decided to style her pieces. I wanted to hit on the shoes next because for her suit, for her shoe selection, I noticed that she went for a softer beige which I think works really well with her color scheme, especially with the handbag that she decided to go for. She tied like a little handkerchief on the back too. So everything just pulls really well together. Since my dress has more of the black and gold tones, I thought that these gray lace up boots would look amazing with this outfit and I love it. It just kind of brings in more of that vintage look that I love with most of my dresses, especially maxi dresses. And these ones are just so comfortable. They have like the lower heel. I might actually need to consider washing them soon um, because you can wash these, which is amazing. Just a really nice wearable outfit. And once again, something that I'm planning to wear to work. So very happy about that. Finally, this outfit. So this is a light academia outfit. It could be dark academia if you wanted to. I loved this photo in particular with the brown v-neck. It has that like um, scallop detail along the neckline, which I think just really softens her look. It's a very fall outfit. Um, so I'm gonna start with the trousers that she is wearing. I love that check print that she went for and that it's in a lighter color. It has the pleats in the front, very vintage. So I decided to go for my pants from Brooks Brothers. I threaded these off of ThreadUp and oh my goodness, if you're gonna go for a pair of wool pants, check, um, look for the brand Brooks Brothers because they have amazing vintage inspired trousers. And the only thing I would say with them is they do have a tendency to run small. These are in a size 10 and I'm typically a size eight. So they do run small, but when you find your right size in this brand, they are stunning. I did notice she is wearing a leather belt with her trousers, which I do not have at the moment. I am currently looking for a like a skinny leather belt to kind of add a little bit more of that layered look because I do think that it adds something to the outfit. But the next piece in this look is that top that I was talking about with the scalloped trim neckline. I just, I love that. And I'm getting into vintage jewelry too. Like I love the cameo necklaces. I'm currently looking for one. So if you know of a good place to find like a, a really pretty vintage cameo necklace, do let me know. I've seen a lot of tops like this from Simple Retro and I really like a lot of their pieces. So I would look on there. I actually might look on there after I film this video because now that I think about it, they might have something very similar to this. I decided to go much lighter just since I do like the lighter academia. Um, and since my pants are darker than the ones that she went for, I decided to go for a light top. So I went for this little cropped sweater. It's a wool sweater, a very, very warm. It is heavier material, so it does work. And since I am wearing the wool trousers as well, it kind of balances out the look. I can always layer a coat on top of it as well. There are options, but I do like this sweater style with the trousers because I actually haven't worn this combination before and I think it's really cute. You'll notice that this picture doesn't actually show the shoes. I just decided to go for my personal favorite academia shoe of the year is the shoes from Sarah Flint. I just really wanted to bring in more of those brown tones into the outfit and I think that this fit really well and I love how these contrast with the print of these pants. It's kind of like doing that mixing print that I love doing and experimenting with and this is just like a very subtle way to do that without being 
too much. To finish off this look, I actually kind of went off of another um, picture that I found on Pinterest as well. It definitely has a similar look to the first picture, but she included a beret hat. And I wanted to include a little bit more of that French approach because I feel like it really, I don't know, it adds more to the outfit, more detail. So I went for my And Other Stories beret hat that I've just been pulling out recently and I've been enjoying it because lately I've been like curling my hair a little bit more too. I just think it works really well with the outfit. I think with this particular style, I think it fits right in. You'll notice in both the photos, they are wearing like a leather bag, which I don't have a leather bag like that, but I've been recently loving these canvas totes. So I have one that I picked up from TJ Maxx recently. I thought it was just really cute to include into the outfit. You can always like stick little flowers peeking out from the top, include your journal or sketchbook or stuff like that. It's just fun to carry this type of thing around and I've been personally enjoying it. I've actually been using these little tote bags in place of purses and handbags because I feel like they're just so much more daily and much more um I don't know there's just something about these canvas tote bags this one is actually more like a burlap almost but it's very country feeling and I love that So these are the pictures on Instagram for this next outfit that I just really liked the aesthetic of both of them. I think mine is going to be a little bit different, but I just, I liked this look. Very romantic. Um, both of them are featuring a flowy dress with some type of cardigan. One of them is a leather jacket. One of them is more of like a duster cardigan. So to start the look off, I'm going to start off with the dress. Both of them are just very flowy, elegant dresses. One is a little bit more boho, but the one that I'm going to go for is just this plain white dress. It has a lot of eyelet detail on it. I'm going to actually do the boots next um, and then I'll show you the piece that I used to layer on top of the dress. So I've had these boots from, I think I got them from Red Dress Boutique a while ago. There are these knee-high boots. It's actually very similar to the boots that she is wearing in this picture with that kind of like velvety suede, more suede look I think. It's a different outfit for me but I really like it because it is helping me pull out these boots again. I've just been loving my lace-up boots too much that I haven't been getting my wear from these boots. And then as far as the layering, I think this is where you can really have fun because I think a leather jacket would look really nice on top of this outfit, any color leather jacket. Since the dress is neutral, you can have a lot of different options. That's why I like going for white dresses in the fall because you can really have fun with the color scheme that you go for. You can have fun with the brown tones and all that. But I have had this wool cardigan that I got from Amazon. It's this golden brown undertone. It's a very unique color, but I love it. I just have not pulled it out recently because I do like, I do have a tendency to love more of the softer colors more of the softer browns but this I think is just absolutely stunning in the fall I just cannot help myself but pull this out it brings this dress into more of a romantic it's almost like a cottage core type of look um yeah adding in those fall winter elements to the simple white dress just I think is such a fun and unique way to approach the fall style especially if you love dresses one last thing that I like to do to the outfit to really romanticize it and make it my own is by adding in a floral belt to the outfit and this is just something that I personally like doing. It's a very unique approach to the outfit but I think it really just adds more of those fall elements with the belts. You could always go for like just a brown leather belt to really add in more of that layered look as well but I feel like this is just a little bit more of a softer approach to it. I added that element to this to kind of just complete this next outfit. So I always like to end these Shopper Closet videos with a bit of a dramatic outfit. This one is very wearable, but there's a lot of details to it that kind of complicate the outfit a little bit, but I like to try different things and this one is very much my style. I came across these two outfits on Pinterest and I, for one, loved all the ruffle detailing 
Yeah, this skirt isn't necessarily ruffled. It has like a softer floral pattern to it, but that skirt and sweater style of outfit is kind of what I'm going for with this one. I like how belts are included in both outfits and then you have the boots. I have this skirt. It's a ruffled skirt from Anthropology. This is actually very similar to the skirt in this picture. That ruffle detailing even has a little bit of that soft beige like lining or detail along the skirt so you're getting a little bit of that same color scheme with the ivory and cream oops I just I really like how they brought the ruffles into a more everyday approach I think it's a little bit more dramatic and you can still have fun and really change up the look to make it fit your style you'll notice in this picture that a gray sweater was styled with this ruffled skirt. I have had this gray sweater in my closet for such a long time and I have not pulled it out. I think for a good like two years, I wanna say. Maybe I have pulled it out earlier. Um, I got this from like an online boutique and I love it. The color of it is so pretty. It's like that really washed out gray color, which I think looks really nice in the fall, by the way. It's a very similar gray tone to the sweater that is shown in this picture actually, but mine is in a crop style. You'll notice that within the picture, there there is the belt styled with <laughs> the gray top. So I was playing around with it a little bit. Um, you also let me know what you think. I actually kind of think that I like it without the belt just because it is a cropped style. I think it fits the look that I'm going for better. So I'm actually going to start by showing the outfit style without the belt. I decided to go with the gray boots because I wanted to fit the color of the gray sweater. I just kind of wanted to go for gray tones with this one. I felt like it fit the look and it kind of brings in that more Victorian look that I like as well. So I wanted to stick with gray tones for this outfit. You'll notice with both the outfits, they both have accessorized in different ways. For one, I really like that small purse kind of accessorized on the side over the shoulder. But on the other outfit, she's got sunglasses, a watch, and then a really pretty like um, layered necklace look. They each brought in a very unique style element into their outfit and I decided to bring in mine. I went for my statement earrings because that is my fall accessory. It's just what I love wearing during the fall season and these are recent finds for me. Since this outfit is so neutral with the gray and the white, but adding in the detail of the ruffles and these statement earrings, I just love it. Especially with the lace up boots too. Just a lot going on, but somehow it all works. And I think you can really pick apart the outfit and add the accessories that reflect your style. Let me know what you think of these outfits. Which one was your favorite? Let me know if you end up going and recreating one yourself. I absolutely love making these shopper closet videos. So definitely give me a thumbs up if you want to see more like this I will definitely make more I have been keeping my eye on Pinterest and trying to find outfits to recreate for you but yes these were some of my favorites and some of these I'm going to be wearing to work doing these Pinterest outfits you just realize how much you have in your wardrobe and how much you have to work with especially if you've invested in those basics I think that's really what's helped me with um, recreating these outfits and coming up with my own version of it has been focusing on those basics. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.